You know, guys, it sucks. It sucks right now in Canada. And especially on the grocery level, where things that used to cost a dollar now cost two. Things that used to cost two dollars now cost four. Things that used to cost four dollars now cost eight. Welcome or welcome back to Life As I Know It. This is my channel where I run this grocery store behind the scenes for the last six years. Thank you for following along. Today I want to get real with everybody and truly let you know how things have uh, really affected my small business over the last uh, year, year and a half. Yeah, let's get into this video. One in four Canadians cannot afford a $500 expense. There is no letting up on the cost of living crisis that Canada is experiencing right now. And in my small business, I have seen this on the micro level where people that were able to spend money in our store are no longer able to, to the same level or not at all and it is truly affecting this business. So I just closed up the store for the day and I wanted to come on here to be as transparent as possible and let you guys know that this store had seen some very good years and it gave us the proper cushion to float a year as bad as this. But unfortunately, when the economy keeps pressuring the everyday normal people who work you know, just like you and I, into financial crisis, just to be able to afford groceries becomes a luxury. So it ends up where I see the effect because people have to go deal shopping from store to store to try to find the best deals just to feed their family. So a store like this becomes a luxury where we do a lot of, you know, higher end quality foods, locally sourced foods that are a little bit more costly than, you know, your generic mass produced items. And that tends to really cut into our bottom line more than you would ever imagine because you think something as stable as grocery could be recession proof, but you really start seeing the difference when people start spending a lot less in your store day to day to day. So unfortunately, we really start seeing the difference in the amount people spend. Not so much the amount of customers that come in, but the average transactional value. So people used to spend about $24 to $25 a person in our store. You times that by 100 customers on average a day, leaving you with a total of $2,500 a day, which we could pay all of our bills, all of our hydro, and take a small salary for me and Felicia. Now, the difference is with 2023, you get those same 100 people, but they're only spending $17 a day. So leaving you with $1,700 in total sales for the day. And those are break even numbers around that. 1,500 to 1,700 is a break even number for us just to you know keep the place going and take a modest, even more modest salary than we always work, than we already work. When 46% of Canadians aged 35 to 44 barely can have their financial needs met while they're still working full-time jobs, there has to be a problem that is not being solved correctly. And I see this on the daily level when my customers are telling me they're taking on a second job to make ends meet. Their wife is also taking on a second job to make ends meet. They both have good jobs, yet they need to work part-time serving at restaurants to make ends meet. These are real people that I see every day that I, two years ago, three years ago, were in a better financial position, and now I see them less and less because they simply can't afford to shop at my store. And you're probably gonna say, your store is too expensive or, you know, People are looking for deals and I understand my prices aren't going to be as good as Food Basics or, you know, as cheap 
if you buy in bulk at Costco. But these are people in the area that supported the store for five years already, who were okay purchasing things a little higher, and now all of a sudden, they are barely making ends meet. So you go from top to bottom without changing much, besides the prices of everything, unfortunately, increasing. And at the end of the day, guys, I'm not looking for a pity party here. I've been blessed enough over the last few years to be able to have a fairly strong business that can weather certain times and get through something like this. But there's only so much small businesses can endure before a lot of them have to shut their doors. Because, let's face the facts, we all know if this trend continues, there will be a lot of people who are already suffering, who will begin to suffer on a different level that we haven't even seen yet. Small businesses won't be able to keep their doors open. The prices of things will unfortunately keep going up if, you know, there's not a stop to this. So. Where do we draw the line? You know, as a small business owner, I've seen it on this level every day, and I haven't mentioned it much on this channel because I try to keep this channel positive and try to keep, you know, you guys motivated to start your own businesses. And I'm not saying a small business can't work in these times, but it was already tough in 2020, 2021, and it's always been tough, but now it is on a new level of difficulty where you truly have to do something exceptional to be able to survive. And believe it or not, I've tried to keep my prices as competitive as possible in this store. But it's the simple math where the big box stores may buy 10,000 units of an item and they'll get it for 50 cents and I go buy that same product but I only buy 10 units and I have to pay double that price. I'll pay a dollar, for example. So, needless to say, I don't blame people for having to shop around and find the best prices anymore. I understand it. When people don't have two pennies to pinch together, they're not coming to my store to spend $20 on olive oil like they used to in 2020. Mind you, that was a tough year in and of itself. However, those high-end quality items are the first things to go out of a family's budget and I understand that and what do I do here I'm a specialized grocery store that specializes in high-end items and yes I've had no choice I had to mix in you know generic items that are cheaper for people and what am I gonna do I have to you know kind of gauge the audience and shift with the times and we've been doing that we, you know we got rid of a lot of specialty items over the years and there's still people that come in and ask but unfortunately if those products aren't moving anymore i'm going to cater to the customer that wants the items that move so i'm going to end this video here guys thanks for watching i do hope things get better for the canadian economy i hope your situation is as stable and even gets even better. And if you're looking to start a small business, this wasn't to discourage you, this is to show you the reality. Have a good night.